just when I didn't think it was possible for Joe Biden to look any more out of touch than he already is, he uh, goes ahead and fires multiple people who work for the White House because they uh, were transparent about the fact that they once smoked pot. It's not like they smoked pot on the job while they were working at the White House or even that day because they told the truth and they were transparent about the fact that they once smoked pot, they were fired. And the only uh, response that the White House is able to give in terms of how they're defending themselves is that, well, you know, the media is kind of uh, sensationalizing the story because you're saying it's dozens of people that were fired. Actually, we only fired like a handful of people, so it's not that bad. It's still bad. So as uh, Jennifer Adams of the Daily Beast reports, White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki has confirmed that five White House staffers have been fired for disclosures of past marijuana use. On Thursday, the Daily Beast reported that dozens of young staffers for the new Biden administration had been suspended, asked to resign, or placed in a remote work program due to prior pot use. In a tweet posted Friday morning, Psaki said the White House was working on an updated policy to ensure that past marijuana use wouldn't automatically disqualify staff from serving in the White House. She added, as a result, more people will serve who would not have in the past with the same level of recent drug use. The bottom line is this. Of the hundreds of people hired, only five people who had started working at the White House are no longer employed as a result of this policy. Okay, but the number of people fired for using pot should be zero. It's not a defense to say, well, we only fired five. It should be zero. And this doesn't just make Joe Biden look out of touch. It makes him look like a stupid person to be concerned with this. I mean, this is the author of the crime bill that led to mass incarceration or at least exacerbated mass incarceration, to be fair. So if he's actually sorry, like he said he was, and he wasn't just saying that to help him with the election, then this should be the bare minimum. At least not be outraged at the thought that some of your staffers had once smoked pot. And he doesn't realize that he's incentivizing people to lie. So what do you want them to do? Do you want them to tell the truth? Because if they tell the truth, then you're going to penalize them for it. And uh, second of all, this is a little bit awkward because now, if you're going to be consistent here, you have to let go of your VP because Kamala Harris admitted that she once smoked pot, as did Joe Biden's former boss, Barack Obama, aka Rap Rock, as did Obama's wife, Michelle Obama, as did former President Bill Clinton, although he says that he didn't inhale, so I guess that that doesn't count technically. I mean, in 2021, why are we still pretending as if something that someone does in the privacy of their own home that doesn't affect anyone else? should be something that they get penalized for. If somebody wants to have a drink when they get home from work to unwind or a blunt, that's none of Joe Biden's business. That doesn't make them not qualified to serve in the White House. And what's interesting is that this has been an issue for Joe Biden that he has long refused to budge on. Even during the uh, Biden-Sanders unity task forces, there were a couple of issues that he refused to, to negotiate uh, with progressives on. And pot legalization was one of them. And the reason why he wouldn't budge was because, according to him, if he supported the legalization of pot, that would make him less popular, actually. When we all know, in reality, that would make him more popular. But he genuinely believed that would have hurt his electoral chances. The president's team, and I think probably Mr. Biden himself, although we did not talk to him directly, uh, was potentially concerned about the political effects uh, that it might have with their own constituency and maybe costing them some votes in key battleground states rather than actually winning them votes as we believe would occur and, and, and mobilizing a hell of a lot of people around the issue. That was the exact conversation. If you want to be real, we were armed with polling data that suggested that a majority of Americans were in favor of the legalization of marijuana, but Vice President uh, Biden at the time um, was really concerned uh, about how this issue could have impacted the outcome of the election. It would not have cost him votes. It would have made him more popular. And if he was curious, he could have just done a quick Google search. I mean, it's not that difficult. If you look at public opinion polls, back in 2019, two-thirds of Americans supported pot legalization, and yes, that included a majority of Republicans. And by November of 2020, according to Gallup, that support actually grew. It was only by a point, but nonetheless, it still grew. Now, either 
he doesn't know about these polls. He doesn't know what polling data is or knows that these polls uh, are, have been conducted or he doesn't believe them. He thinks that, no, there's no way. I know that pot is bad. So there's no way that the American people actually want it to be legalized. And like, if you really got down to it, Jen Psaki definitely smoked weed in the past, probably still doesn't, does it regularly. Joe Biden, I'm sure that when he was a young man, smoked pot. It's not a big deal. It should be legal. It's already legal in more than a dozen states and in DC. So the fact that this is even a debate shows you how out of touch politicians are because among the American population, this isn't a debatable issue. It's just not debatable. It's only controversial for politicians like Joe Biden with antiquated views and outdated ways of thinking about the world. So this is absolutely uh, scandalous. And the fact that it happened at all should outrage everyone. What are you, you're firing people because they admitted to smoking pot? Grow the fuck up, be an adult. This isn't something that serious people care about, Joe Biden.